Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff and another beautiful day here on Funland. I'm really excited. It is the beginning of fall. It is the unofficial beginning of spooky season. So I thought with being both of those, it would be the perfect opportunity to start kind of our fall spooky builds. And today we were lucky enough to come across some amazing customs and we are gonna put two together Funland's very own creepy carnival. I can't wait to get to it, so let's not hesitate and get started. Okay, I had existing cliff sides that were there, which was great. Obviously, we're gonna have to trim them down, add to them, take away, but it was the perfect height for what we needed for our carnival or carnival tent. So what we're doing first is just finding our center. We're doing a three, I, I don't know what you call it, peaks or tiers of the carnival tent so there's going to be the bottom layer which will have your entrance then the second layer which will have the two kid tent kind of peaks and then your top layer obviously we have set up already um we're adding a little bit to the front right now just because we need to add our stand ease uh, or not standees, um, our simple panels. We will be using standees, but our simple panels. Um, I came across this amazing set of customs, which I will include in the description, and I was really excited to create this carnival tent. It's so simple, but the pattern is so cool. I love the tattered kind of canvas, and it just gives off kind of that creepy spooky vibe that we're going for so we have the first layer put together now we're just cutting back because we don't need all of this additional cliffside and I need to make room because Poppy's gonna be using some lighthouses that we had in storage took to Harv's Island went ahead and customized them white not necessarily to be a part of the tent itself, not to look like, it kind of does blend in and look like a peak of the tent, but I was really more so going for the subtle light that you're gonna see going around the back when it's nighttime. Again, being kind of a, a creepier, spookier build, I don't, want to overdo it with too too many lights normally when i do builds like this i would try to add as many lighting elements as humanly possible because i love this game at night i love visiting and coming on and playing on funland at night because i love the way that everything lights up but in a spookier build like this we don't want it overly lit because you're trying to keep that dim kind of creepy factor so i thought the lighthouses in the back would be amazing um, when I was doing the entrance, as you can see, I came across this custom for the caution tape as opposed to the normal, like, you'd look through the opening into a circus tent, it'd be all sparkly and bright and lights, but I thought with the creepy build, the caution tape was kind of amazing. Uh, we threw in a bunch of curtain partitions as well, just to add a little dimension and be able to open them. And I didn't really want to put like a big balloon archway in front of the circus tent because we're keeping that spooky kind of vibe, not kind of cheery and happy with balloons. Um, we did our path, kept it really, really simple like you would see in a circus entrance or a fairground, just kind of a dirt path. So nothing too intricate which is great for me because paths are not my thing now we're just adding a few spooky elements i had a bunch of jail bars in my storage from other builds and i thought this was the perfect opportunity to be able to take them out put some skeletons in them and add just it adds length to the tent and it also adds more to that spooky creepy element and i think it just looked really interesting so i was excited to be able to use them again use my skeletons again put them in and then close them in so they're in little like makeshift jails and then of course putting little campfires in front of them because this is the type of lighting we're looking for when you're doing kind of a creepy spooky build there's something about fire that in the right use is creepy so 
Now Poppy is adding gear towers again, just stuff that I had in my storage. Not necessarily adding so much to the build other than they make really cool creaking noises and it adds some movement, so kind of just a fun addition. Then comes the standee customs and I was so excited to see these. They're like old school circus when you would see the wagons and the trains or whatnot pulling all of the circus animals and stuff into town. That's what this reminded me of. And with the devil faces on it and the dark spooky colors and again, the tattered pattern on top of the stands. It just works so well with this carnival. So I was really excited to finally have an use for them. I've had them for a while. Um, I found them on Pinterest again. The creator code will be in the description and I've just been waiting for the right season to finally be able to use them. So I was super excited to be able to put together this carnival. I love spooky season. I like the summer. I like the winter. They all, the spring, they all have their benefits, but there's something about the fall and the spooky season that just, it's, it's different and it's so much fun to create. And I was so excited, like I said, to find these customs and finally be able to use them. As you can see, there is a fortune teller cart going up. I used the curtain partition to cover the back just in red because it worked. It was easier than using the two standees and instead of having kind of the tattered in the back, it's a little bit solid. But as I was saying, um, for the fortune teller cart, I used to have the crystal ball and I looked through all my storage and I couldn't find it. So maybe during one of my storage cleanouts, I might have accidentally thrown them out, not thrown them out, but sold them at Nooks to make some money and to make some space. So mistakes were made there and I'm going to have to order some more. But once I order some more, I'm going to put them in so that you can see them through the cutouts in the standees. And I think that'll add a lot. Uh, Poppy's just adding some tiki torches and a few lamp posts because we need a little bit of lighting. Um, we're also adding a few more party light arches because the light they give off is not overly bright. And again, it's just adding dimension to the tent. But as you can see, our little creepy carnival is coming together nicely. I love the way it looks. Um, adding a few trees again, just because there's some bare spots. Now, kind of purposely done because the spooky season approaches we'll be able to add more of the spooky trees and the lanterns and everything else but as far as this creepy carnival goes it is complete it looks absolutely amazing i was really excited with the way it turned out just enough lighting i love the little booths i love the tent and it just it came together perfectly with the skeletons and everything else and of course I'm not gonna make you wait. We're going to check out this carnival at night. And now you can see what I mean about the lighting. Kept it really, really simple. You can kind of see the lights from the lighthouses kind of going around in the back. The tiki torches and the campfires work out well. I love the party light arches. We forgot one addition to our circus. We needed to add the ringmaster at the door welcoming everybody into the creepy carnival he's just so cute and i was so excited to use him but there you have it funland's very own creepy carnival love the customs love the lighthouse edition in the back the skeletons i like the stands there's nothing about this that doesn't just make me happy and more excited to create for the spooky season as well uh, like I said, all the customs used in this build will be in the description so you can use them as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you've already subscribed. Thank you so much. We truly appreciate you. And I will be back with more Animal Crossing videos.